good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome video so let's get cracking friends today is going to be a little different someone reached out asking how to make a youtube video with a chromebook let's see what we can do so first i'm going to open one of my tinkercad projects you can record anything you want but this is what i'm going to choose for recording so i want to make a quick video of this and i'm going to do it with clipchamp so you can see i am typing clipchamp here i can find clipchamp I'm going to log in and I'm going to use my Google account. Now that I'm in friends, I'm going to hit create new video and I want to record and create. I just want to record my screen. It brings up this button right here that I can click and start recording. Now I do want to let you know that I clicked on allow. This is something that I had to do earlier. With that in place, now I can actually start and do some recording. To start, friends, you simply click the record button and then you can pick a window, the entire screen, or a tab. Like I said a moment ago, I'm gonna do the Rocket tutorial and click share. At this point, I am recording. You can see I can show off the Rocket, move it to all different angles. Now I recorded for a couple minutes and as you can see it captured the screen, it captures everything just absolutely fine. But remember today I'm here to teach you how to do the video editing so let me show you how those steps work. So I recorded friends and when I hit stop sharing, so friends when it finishes you'll see a preview. Notice it switched to this tab and I'm going to choose save and edit. It asks where you want to put it. I'm going to put mine in my downloads folder. I'm going to just keep this crazy name to make things a little quicker. So let's run through some basic editing steps. First, I can scale this so it has the part that I want. So now it only has the blue part. If we hit play, you'll get to hear where I start talking and all that. At this point, I am recording. I'm going to pause because we don't need to hear that. But back here, notice it took a while to start. We can trim that by doing a split, and then I can delete that piece and move it back. That is how you can adjust your clips. I'm going to come over here and do another split. Notice it also has a shortcut, the letter S. So I'm just showing you how to edit. These words I was making, they were really just being silly, but at least lets you see how you can change this to make it exactly the way you want. I'm also going to add a piece of text. Notice I drop it up on that chunk. I can stretch it to the length I want, put it in the spot I want. I can click and drag that where I want. And then I can click over here on the text and I can make it say whatever I want. Let's say I want it to say, let's get cracking and move it to a location where it actually fits. You can also choose different fonts. There's all sorts in the list. We can move to another spot and let's find an image. Right now, if we go to your media, I've only got one item, but if I import, I can bring in any image that I have in my list of stuff and I can drop that up on this track as well. Notice it lets you make extra tracks so you can have many, many layers as you create. I want to zoom in so I can see those a little better. I'm going to squeeze this down so it's a nifty size and then I can put it where it wants. Notice they changed my project to fit that media, which I don't really want. So I'm going to instead go over here and I'm going to go back to how it was. I want to go back to my 16.9 that I had. Now I can put this exactly how I want. Say I want it up here. So notice this is a GIF. So because it animates, it only lasts two seconds. It is not a normal image. Let me find a normal image and show you how that works as well. Let's import media again. And this time I'm gonna bring in a simple smile. When I drop him out here, I can now stretch him to whatever length of time I want. Of course I can scale and put him anywhere just like you would expect. As we go back to these buttons, there are templates you could bring in. They do have music and special effects. If we hit play, we can check this out. Cool enough. 
So I'm going to add that by simply hitting the plus. Notice it put it down here where I had the cursor. If I bring it back, I can get it lined up just the way I would like it. Of course, I do want the volumes to be lower. So I'm going to click over here on the audio. And I'm going to set the volume of that track all the way down to 15% or 18%. So that way it's playing in the background. If we hit play, at this point I am recording. You can see, I can, you can see that that's all working just like you'd expect. They do have some free to use stock video. And they also have stock images that are free to use. Once again, that is our text button, and there are some free graphics. Let's drop a graphic out here on this. Notice we can stretch that out, place it where it wants. We can crop it, do picture in picture, rotate. You can flip it horizontally just like that as you build your perfect video. Finally, they've got transitions. So if we put these in between our clips, it doesn't show up much because it's the same image. You should have two images you transition between. But for free, you can have a ton of fun building and editing your own videos. I'm going to quickly name this How To Video. And then I'm simply going to export it so that we can use it. I'm going to choose 1080p. Note you do have to be patient as it saves. And then pick where you want to save it. Note there are a ton of options. OneDrive, Google Drive, you could upload it straight to YouTube, Dropbox, Pinterest, or even LinkedIn. I chose to be patient, and I'm going to save it to my computer. I've got a folder called Finals, and that's where I'm going to put it. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.